No, 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 not at all, not at all. That is, no, not at all. <laughs> hey there, welcome to Kemen's Weekly. Hey there, welcome to Kemen's Weekly, where we cover all things chemical engineering, from universities to degrees. For those that don't know me, my name is Jup, and I'm a third year chemical engineering student at Imperial College London, which is one of the top schools for chemical engineering around the world. And I just thought I'd give my natural reaction on this video titled Stuff Chemical Engineers Don't Say by Gage Sowell Music. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And yeah, it just it should be a very insightful and informative video to see how a typical chemical engineering student thinks with these things. So without much further ado, let's get right into the video. Just before we start, we're going to have a quick read of the description. It says, a short video brought to you by the Chemie class of 2016. It doesn't specify which university, but I'm sure it's going to be great. So let's get into it. Do you guys know what that is? Oh, that's just fugacity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That, that first one, I think, you know, most students do struggle with fugacity. is a concept that not, that's not very easy to, to, to grapple with, especially because especially it's quite confusing to explain. It's essentially the tendency of something to escape a system. Um, so on the face of it, quite basic, but, you know, easy to get modelled with. So, yeah. And just to quick add, that equation definitely wasn't fugacity. They made it look harder than it actually is. You know that PCHEM class? I think it might be the easiest class I've ever taken. Yeah, no, most people most people don't like uh, PCHEM. I think PCHEM is physical chemistry and it's like, it's essentially just a lot of physics. Um, and especially if you don't come from a physics background, like in, in the UK, you don't actually have to study physics A-level, which is your highest high school uh, qualification. If you don't study physics, then PCHEM is a bit of a struggle. So I don't, that's not exactly something a chemical engineer would say. Yo, man, I am so awake for this 8 a.m. Yeah, man, it's been great. I've been getting plenty of sleep lately. Okay, once again, man, this is uh, this kind of alludes to... I think this is more of a university thing in general, because when you're a new university student, you kind of struggle to format what time you should be going to sleep and stuff, and I've had many friends who've, who've had issues with that. So I think, yeah, the 8 a.m. lectures, or in our case, 9 a.m. lectures, they, they can be a bit of a struggle getting to. I wouldn't say it's 100% accurate. It, it changes as, as you progress through the years. This stuff is so easy. Right. I should have picked a harder major. Yeah, no, that's 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 not true. I mean, our, our catchphrase is literally chemical engineering is definitely difficult. <laughs> Business majors have it rough, psychology majors. I can't even imagine being an education major. Yeah, no, that that comes, once again, I think as, as engineers and STEM students, we give quite a lot of flack to those three that you mentioned. <laughs> so I don't think you'd catch, you'd catch a chemical engineering student saying those things, but yeah. I never have to use autocorrect. Because I'm a good speller. God, this looks... Yeah, no, that that's, uh, once again, you know, we're not we're not humanity students, so... Sometimes spelling isn't always uh, the strongest suit of a generic chemical engineering student, but, you know, we're getting there. We can improve. God, this lecture hall is so comfortable. Oh, dude, you remember... Yeah, I don't think that's a chemical engineering specific thing. I think that's just generally speaking. I mean, lecture lecture theatres are, they're designed with the electro in mind, aren't they? So you kind of, you can't generalize that as a chemical engineering thing. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I agree with that. Remember that girl I was talking to last night? I think she's into me. Yes, my MATLAB code works. Yeah, that's a common problem. MATLAB code, it's a difficult one because 90% of the time you just end up rerunning it over and over again and ah, it's just a coding problem. I mean, if you speak to any computer science majors or any other, like for example, uh, electronic interface engineers, they'll tell you coding is uh, it's an iterative process and it hardly ever works the first time. I've said it and I'll say it again. I completely understand fugacity. <laughs> yeah, that comes again. Uh, that, yeah, students, uh, sometimes they go throughout their entire degree without understanding what fugacity is. It's not an easy concept, so, yeah. Excuse me, professor, could you go over more things that won't be on the exam? <laughs> Junior design? <laughs> okay, okay, that's, I think that's slightly mean. I think the, the lectures are, are designed to kind of push you with your degree, so I can understand why they go through stuff that won't be on the exam, because it's just to broaden your horizons and understanding. But if you're purely doing it from a from a you know complete the exams and get the degree point of view it can be a little bit interesting to to take that approach with your lectures i don't think you'd catch any chemical engineering students saying that though junior design is a valuable learning experience no i i i actually agree with that i think junior design is a valuable learning experience i think because i don't know how it's set up in the us but in the uk you only do a design project in your first year and then you do a design project in your final year and then you kind of have teamwork in between so it definitely helps because you know it's 
for many people it's their first time that they've done a sort of consultancy based uh, activity so I, I'm not sure I don't think that deserves to be in this video I think that's a bit harsh so I love group projects I can say with 95% confidence that I love t-tests Okay, group projects, yeah, so I think there's a lot of group projects, so by the end of your degree it does get a little bit repetitive. I, I, I mean, I think they they keep it fresh, so it's always, you're not always doing the same thing with group projects, so I, I, you know, I just don't think that, that's a little bit unwarranted, I think that's a bit harsh, but um, yeah. I'm not too sure what the t-tests mean though, I'm, I, I'm presuming they're talking about maths, in which case t-tests were one of the harder parts of the module, um, and I don't think many people were a fan of it, to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah man, the homework only takes like 10 minutes. No, 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 not at all, not at all, that is, no, not at all. <laughs> I think one of the things with pretty much any engineering uh, major or any engineering degree is um, the homework is not quick, like you look at it and it'll be like three or four questions, you'd be like, oh, that'll be fine, no. One question could take you four or five pages just to complete, I think one time I was doing a thermodynamic problem and it was like, you know, three pages double-sided or something just to just to get the final answer and I think the final answer was zero anyway but yeah definitely it doesn't it's not fast definitely not fast I heard some business majors talking the other day it seems like such a hard major <laughs> yeah that's just that's just uh that's just common stem uh stem students uh poking fun at business majors <laughs> yeah dude this girl will not stop asking me out yeah when I met my group members I was kind of hesitant but now we're all best friends Oh, okay. yeah, that that's that's pushing it a bit too much. I think not. Your group members will. You won't always end up with the best group allocation. That's just the way things work. So I think you know sometimes you have to pull your weight a bit more. So I'm not sure about the best friends part, but typically speaking, they things end up all right in the end. I went to bed so early no. last night. No, <laughs> I never skipped class to go skiing. I don't know about that. I've I've not come across the, the skiing thing before. I think you know in the UK we're we're quite nicely uh, synced up to the skiing uh, calendar. So I don't know about that. I wouldn't be able to comment, but yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love using English units. Don't no, no, English units, no. English units aren't English units are not fun, no. So for those that don't know English units, they're like imperial measurements. Um, so the old system before metric, and it's not it's not fun because conversion is uh, it's a bit tedious, and you end up with uh, funny numbers. So yeah, no. Mr. Seymour, could you please speak up? Yeah, I've been to Outlaw Brewing like three times. I still haven't seen Anderson there. I, I didn't get the last two. Hey, Dr. Carlson, could you run through this material faster? <laughs> I think, no, that's, I think again, that's harsh. It not all lecturers are gonna be going at that speed. It, it depends, some lecturers, they have allocated time, so they have to go faster, but yeah, I, I can see what you're talking about. Some, I have to agree, some lecturers do go very fast. Yeah, man, I totally had time to finish that exam. Excuse me, professor, could you go over that problem again, but in English unit? Okay, so the, the exam one, yeah, I think most exams are actually, they're designed for you to just have enough time. So some exams, yeah, they'll, they are they are going to be time pressured. I think that's one of the things with it. But um, yeah, the English units, again, no. We, I don't think people like doing it in English units. It's, it's a bit too tedious. I think I'll definitely use transport in my job. I'm not sure about that part because I think I've heard that most of the stuff you do in transport in industry you end up simulating using like online tools anyhow so I think yeah I think I can understand where the criticism comes from but at the end of the day you still need to know how to do it to get your degree and you know if if everything fails and you you can still understand how stuff works in transport processes then I, I don't see anything wrong with their uh, transport processes and learning how to do it. Could you guys please talk louder? Yeah, I've never had to wait like an hour for Shelly. Man, I can't wait for finals week. I, I didn't understand the last two, but finals week, I think, you know, that again, this is not just a chemical engineering thing, it's pretty much any university degree. You you kind of, most most students don't actually look forward to it, you know, they, they, they dread it a bit. <laughs> okay, and that was the end of the video. I think, you know, great work. It was, it was funny, most of those points, yeah, I have to agree with. Interesting, I think maybe across the pond there's a bit of a different culture with chemical engineering, so I gave you a kind of a UK student's perspective from it. But yeah, no, uh, good work from uh, Gage So Our Music, and um, I'll, I'll be linking it down in the description down below, so be sure to check it out if you've not. And with that, the video comes to an end. Be sure to check out another one of our videos and hit the subscribe button just down there to make sure you're never late. And until the next time, keep it steady.